Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, answering a question. Should Christians drink wine or any other alcoholic beverage? Friends, we know that the scriptures tell us Jesus' first miracle, he turned water to wine. This was his first miracle at a wedding feast in Cana. The Bible also tells us that Paul, the apostle of Jesus Christ, the messenger, the, the missionary of Jesus, gave instruction to Timothy and told him to have a little wine because Timothy was having trouble with his stomach. But my friends, I, I want to encourage you because I have met many who they do drink. But here is the risk, and here is another reality from the scriptures. Men that God had chosen, such as Samson, and one of the most honorable prophets that Jesus said of all the men born of a woman, there was none greater than John the Baptist. He was forbidden he and Samson, who was one of the judges in, in Israel, and everyone knows this notorious story that Samson was a man of great strength, but he was forbidden to allow wine to touch his lips along with John the Baptist. So what I want to challenge you, my friend, is to realize and understand that you are chosen, you are anointed for a time such as this this to come forth and work these fields for our God. My friends, the Bible teaches that you and I should be vigilant and sober. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. And this is not the time, nor the season, nor the hour for any of us to play around Teeny totter outside of sobriety. And this is what happens, my friend. Many people play with this thing and they end up falling in that ditch called drunkenness. And the Bible clearly tell us no drunkard, according to Galatians chapter 5, Verse 17 through 23, every follower of Jesus should know the 17 works of the flesh. Every Christian, I encourage you, my friend, to get in that Bible and eat Galatians chapter 5. Just eat the whole chapter. No drunkard will enter God's kingdom. And what a man sows to his flesh, we will reap. Revelations chapter 21 also tells us the same, that no sorcerer or anyone that practices witchcraft, because my friend, once you get into drunkenness, where you are drunk, you are inebriated, you buzzing, you're high. My friend, it's against the law even on our city streets, traffic laws for you to even have a buzz. You should not be behind the wheel. So where I want to encourage the believer Paul, the apostle of Jesus Christ, said this. This is, this is where I stand personally. I, I ain't touching no such thing. No way, Jose. Why? Because, friends, I don't trust my flesh. I'm not, no. I, I had a brethren months ago challenge me about this very thing. Because why? He's a drinker. But friends, I, I, I will tell you this. L l l let's look at what Paul said. Paul said this in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. He said, all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. That word expedient also means appropriate. It's not appropriate for me. He says, because all things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of anything. And my friend, that's 
your your in order to to be strong and and tenacious and 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 in a a, a frame of mind of diligence to work for God you want to have the same disposition as Paul all things are lawful but it is not appropriate because I'm a man of God that's what he said ladies we have to take the same position all things are lawful, but it's not appropriate for me because I'm a woman of God. I'm a warrior for souls. I'm on a rescue mission. I'm on a search and recovery mission. And I got to be sober at all times. I don't want nothing controlling me. And this, my friend, is the wisdom of God when we consider that John the Baptist, the prophet of God, the man that withstood Herod and his head was put on a charger on a pl on a plate and served back to Herod, my friend, the angel of the Lord told his parents, John, do not allow wine to touch his lips. Friends, you and I, we are God's anointed. And we are carrying around treasure. The Bible says that the face of Jesus is in our earthen vessels. And we don't want, my friend, to do anything that would move us from being vigilant and sober. In closing, I knew a pastor of a very large church. In fact, he many, many years ago was someone that I truly gleaned from his ministry. But my friend, he played with that thing and he ended up a drunkard. You can see him in the pulpit many days, high as a kite, drunk. To see this prolific messenger played with fire. See friends, because eternity is so long, we don't wanna be wrong. We cannot risk it. This man ended up with so many legal problems. It was said that he was, you know, caught up in a lot of mess, which is a result when you are high. See, see, you start out, start up with the communion cups. We know that they, it said that they broke bread and it was wine. But my friends, I doubt very serious. If it, if it was the same fermentation process as we have today with the alcohol content, content that we have today. Nonetheless, this pastor, it was sad because you, you, you risk being brought under that power and that influence. And when your stress increase or you're going through different challenges challenges in your life or your ministry before you know it my friend that sneaky flesh man will drag you back into darkness and before you know it my friend you are drunkard and you will not make it in because God, now you're leaning towards sorcery and witchcraft because now you're under the control of the earth of the creation my friends listen uh, listen, no grape is worth eternity. Don't play with it, friends. So he that has an ear, let him or her hear. We should be sober in everything we do because our adversary is going about as a roaring lion seeking whom he can devour and let us not forget when noah and his family exited the ark 
The Bible tells us that Noah became drunk and he was naked. And the Bible says his sons mocked him. But one of the sons took cloth and walked backwards and covered his father's nakedness. Because my friend, when you mess with that thing called wine and, and, and beer is just, I, no follower of Christ should ever partake of beer and all these other types of, mm-mm. But that wine, I'm going to just close this exhortation this way. He or she that has an ear and you desire to work these fields for our God, let them hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.